Welcome to the Zab Show, everybody. We got Jupalux and Bearded Legend here today. Very excited. Yeah, dude, thanks for coming on. Thanks everybody, for having us. Yeah, yeah. Dude, everybody watching on uh, YouTube, you can uh, comment and I'll pull them up on the screen if you got questions or whatever. We'll get the get that going. Uh, dude, how you guys been? Go ahead, Jupy. <laughs> okay. Uh, I mean, I've been chilling, making music, you know, just hanging out. Yeah, I was telling you, um, earlier, you were like the most requested person I got, and uh, I wasn't super familiar, and I looked, looked you up, and we have hella mutual friends, and uh, I already was going to have uh, Bearded on the show, and I was like, yo, who do you want? And I was like trying to get somebody that he uh, collabed with or something, you know, and uh, you were the perfect person to bring on, was so this is tight. Yeah, we just dropped that track. A lot of my friends are saying that they, they fucked with it a lot, so that's funny. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How'd you guys uh, link up? Um, I know she posted once on her story that she was doing like collabs. And I was like, word, uh, how much? She's like, I'll just do it. And I was like, all right, <laughs> cool. And I sent her a song. But I think, um, I don't know who followed who, but I remember she was following me when I, I think Oni like did, he reviewed one of my songs and like one of her songs on like a live stream. And mm -hmm. I remember like people were following me from that. And I was just like, cool. And I listened to her shit. I was like, this is dope. Yeah, nice. Yeah, shout yeah. out Oni. Hell yeah. Dude, yeah, it's sick, uh, Jupy, that your uh, your shit kind of occupies like a different sound than uh, a lot of the people you collab with, which is tight. You, would you get like a... Um, do some people don't like being called a rapper, you know? How do you feel I, about that shit? I look, I don't even know what to call myself because I know yeah. that if I say rapper in the wrong space, I'm bound to make somebody mad. I'm just <laughs> right, right. I'm just doing what feels right. And if you want to call me a rapper, that's cool. You want to call me a singer? Hey, that's whatever. As long right. as you listen, I mean like <laughs> right. you know? straight up. <laughs> yeah. What do you think, bearded? Dude, I get, get I get dudes that are like, yo, I'm not a rapper, and it's like in my mind, it's like, yo, you're literally like that is what it is to me. But they're like, nah, dude, I'm just an artist, bro. You know? Yeah, like, no, I mean I'd never, if someone just, whatever people call me, like what she said, basically, I'm just like, yeah, I mean, I, I do rap, I do sing, I do play instruments, I fucking make beats, whatever. But I mean, artist sums it up, but I don't correct them. It's like, yeah, I'm a rapper and whatever the fuck, mm. I don't care. <laughs> like, I'll do whatever. <laughs> yeah. Shout out Oni in the comments. Beardy yeah. Dicks. Yeah. What's up, Oni? Oni's a good guy. Hell Spent yeah. a lot of time with him the last couple of weeks. Yeah, how was that, dude? That shit looked dope as hell. I was watching all the videos. Dude, it was sick, man. It was sick. That was um I mean, I met Oni at um in Vegas like a month or so ago, and I was like more buddies with everybody else on the tour before we went out there. But uh yeah, I ended up shooting and uh dude, yeah, great time, man. Great time. You guys going uh you guys ever been on tour or anything like that? Um, I've been on a little tour in like twenty seventeen. Yeah. Uh, besides that, I've been out to like LA like a handful of times to do shows and shit, and okay. that was really fun. But honestly, uh, one of the things I learned when I went on like a little tour in 2017 is that I'm not like a tour life kind of guy. Like, <laughs> yeah. I don't like I like being pretty comfortable. So like scrunching in a van, like I always hung out with a lot of people in bands too. So uh -huh. sometimes I would see how everybody was living. I was like, ah. Oh, I don't know if I can do that. Like, I need to like be comfortable and shit. <laughs> yeah, dude, not for everybody. Yeah. yeah. Are there any shows going on in Texas right now? Like, how's that? How's that going? Um, I'm sure there's shows. I don't know yeah. about any because I've never done a show. Oh so I've what? Never, I've never toured. Really? Only, Whoa. Yeah, I've I've barely left Texas. I've been to like Colorado and a few other states, but yeah. I don't get out much, which is a shame because I love traveling. Ooh. Do you and, not uh, want to play shows? I do. It just I feel like I have to like I gotta practice, and I don't know how to yeah. practice for that. I don't know how you practice oh, a show without just doing it, you know. <laughs> yeah, dude. I saw. Um, I was doing a little bit of homework, and I saw you. Uh, um, like were a singer songwriter with like a uh, like acoustic playing acoustic shit. I'm surprised you didn't like uh, playing like coffee shops or something like that. I feel like that's the vibe, you know. I wasn't any good. I didn't know how to play any oh, chords. I was just like, I'm sad. I'm going to make a song about it. That's what it was like. I wasn't like, I wasn't no like Ed Sheeran out here. I wasn't like doing the darn thing too good, but that's where I started. Dude, Bearded, you got any shows coming up? 
But when's the next time you're coming to LA, man? That's where I'm at now. Yeah, see, fucking, I'm trying. Uh, COVID really messed a lot of shit up. Like, yeah. But I definitely want to come to LA again soon as fuck. I know for sure. Like, I'm definitely focused on you know because I'm in New York. So if I can get some shows here, that's dope. Because like. It's New yeah. York. Everybody's willing to basically come here if there's something dope going on. Right. And then same with LA. If I can arrange some shit like there, I've had people ask me to come to, uh, well, LA do some shit maybe here, but also like I always get people asking if I want to go to like Houston or Dallas or Atlanta and mm. stuff. And a couple people asked me about Chicago, but nothing solid. Um, but I'm just using right now anyway to still build my shit up because I've I've already yeah. done a lot of shows where like, you know, there's been good amounts of people. Sometimes I've done a lot of shows where there's fucking nobody, <laughs> and so yeah, right. I'm just uh, I'm not too keen to get back to doing them until I know like I can do something dope for a good amount of people who care. Because I already mm-hmm. had a lot of practice and like my fair share of like shitty things that like. You know, but I think everybody should go through that anyway. It's just now, like, I was like, all right, I'm going to build my audience online. So next time I throw them, like, mm-hmm. or get on a show, people be like, oh, shit, like, I know this guy. I can't wait to see him. Like, <laughs> <laughs> all right. Dude, is the scene, Jupy, you might know, is the scene uh, for this kind of stuff, like, hot out in Texas? Because I was talking to um, uh, Sinister and uh, Witch House 40K, who I was just out with. They were saying they, they kind of want to hit Texas. And I wasn't sure, like, you know, it seems like it's the hotbed or something. Like, there's some reason they're trying to hit that spot, you know? Yeah, There's Dallas is out. huge on dark trap and like underground rap. Houston is like mm-hmm. big on like a, a rap in general. Yeah, but I know that Dallas is like, it really fucks with a lot of the, a lot of the stuff that's going on right now. So it is mm-hmm. like, a, it, Texas has like a bunch of cities that are really keen on okay. underground. How far away is Dallas from Houston? Like, I keep forgetting three or four how big hours. Texas is. Uh, it's okay. like four hours. I actually live in <laughs> Dallas now. I'm from Houston, so I'm oh, getting to okay. see firsthand how, how different the music scenes are. It's pretty oh, interesting. Oh, yeah? Which do you like better? Or do you go out to other people's shows at all? I haven't yet because of, you know, the state of the world. But yeah. you, you can't ask me which I like better. I'm biased. I'm, of course, yeah, yeah. say Houston. You know, <laughs> I grew up right. there. Yeah. Dude, I got some comments from Instagram or questions. Um we got Abracadabra1010 says, can Jupalux please make a video showing more of her life rather than just music? I don't know if that's a, that's kind of weird. <laughs> <laughs> I love that though. I so much, like, I love all that, all that shit. I love BTS stuff and all that. That's, yeah. I love that someone asked that because I had no idea that anybody wanted that. So that's yeah. like, I really like that. That's cool. Time to start vlogging. <laughs> People like that connection though. Yeah. So, yeah. Like, yeah. Whatever authentic. you're willing to let them in on, it's like hell yeah. Do you uh do you make your own videos, Jupy? Um yeah, except for the one that just dropped with uh with APOC, I shoot my own videos. I mean they they look really lo-fi anyway. So I mean that's a, I like the aesthetic though. Yeah, that's Thank sick. you. <laughs> you shoot them at home mostly. Yeah, I don't leave the house. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, we got um Young, oh shit, Young Vader, shouts out. I don't know if Yo, you guys know up? him. I met him on the road out there. Cool dude. Yeah, I definitely uh, heard of him. Question for Bearded Legend. Who or what inspired you to the high pitch voice? <laughs> uh, my genetics, I guess. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> it's just what I can do. Like, uh-huh. I've done some shit. You know, I could go low sometimes, but mm. my voice naturally, like, as you can hear, it has, like, more of a, I guess, nasally, like, an, to me, it's annoying as fuck, but it's what I can do. Uh, I mean, not annoying, obviously, when I make the music, but, like, sometimes mm. when I'm mixing shit for, like, hours, I'm like, I can't fucking do this anymore. Like, I need to uh, take a break. You make but I guess that's stuff. a lot of people with their own voices anyway, like, yeah, to yeah. an extent. You make but, your yeah. own stuff? Oh, yeah, I fucking do everything. Uh, oh, anything I can try, like, you know, most of the time, like if I can make my own beats, I'll do it. Uh, oh. and yeah, mixing, I record everything right in this fucking room I'm sitting in and whatever the fuck. Damn, that's crazy. Dude, yeah, you probably yeah. get this a million fucking times, dude. But, uh, the first time I heard you, you reminded me a little bit of, uh, Ozzy. 
Osborne. Yeah, I get that all the time. <laughs> I thought you were going to say somebody else. So I was going to be like, oh, ah. who, yo, who do you not like? <laughs> no, it's not that I don't like it, but every time any video gets like posted or especially uh -huh. in the beginning, now it's more like people get to know me more. So it's like, oh, yeah, mm -hmm. Beard Legend. But uh, yeah. it used to just be fucking like Ghost Main and like Ruby. And every time mm. it's like, oh, bro, you're Ghost Main. It's like, not really. <laughs> like, if you really they listen to one to song, everyone. literally, yeah. I know. But I especially like the high pitched voice, it was just like so annoying in the beginning. Yeah. It's like, I, nah, I wouldn't bro. get you confused with Ghost Main at all. I know. That's funny. Dude, that's She's, always the like go to like yeah. outsiders. Like, oh, Ghost Main's a guy I know. Hey, it's kind of like him. Yeah. Everything literally. Like that. But yeah, I definitely get the Ozzy shit. And I, I love that because I listened to him uh, growing up. So maybe even subconsciously, that might have inspired me to at least be okay with like, well, I could go mm -hmm. like this route because he sounds like that and people love it. So, yeah, you know, whatever. It might work. Yeah, I don't mistake you for anybody else, dude. I used to be hella into Ozzy. I still am. But like that was like one of the first artists I like super got into, bro. Hell yeah. Jack Wilde is like my favorite guitar player. Oh, hell yeah. Dude, yeah, so I heard your shit. I forget what I did. I actually found you without, like, we have a bunch of mutual friends, but I heard you somehow through Spotify, just like totally unrelated to like nobody yeah. sent you to me. And I was like, oh, this is tight. So that's yeah. dope as fuck. That's, I like hearing that too, you know, yeah, uh, yeah. that random stumble across. And then you're like, I fucking love this shit. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, Jupy, what'd you uh, grow up listening to? Oh, oh man, all over the place. I grew up on a lot of Houston rap, uh, like Bone Thugs, Outkast, Zero. That's not Houston rap, but you know what I mean. Um, and like just all kinds of stuff. I took to like Fleetwood Mac and Stevie Nicks. It's all over the place. It's yeah. That's I couldn't dope. even I couldn't even tell you. That's what's up, dude. Yo, I got a question for you from uh, Instagram. I guess that's not a question, but <laughs> <laughs> uh, got a song back in 30 minutes, written, recorded, and mixed. Is that true? Yeah, I think I, I, I think I've heard this a lot <laughs> that I'm very fast with features. Yeah. I wrote a song. Yeah. I, I don't know if she's here. I gave her the link, but I wrote a song one time and one of Pinky, uh, another artist who's super dope. You should check her out. I oh, wrote yeah. a song on her stream and like. I don't know, 10 minutes. And it was like, it really showed me that I really do just like shit stuff out. Like so <laughs> fast. It's kind of crazy. Dude, it's good. That's dope. Yo, Thank Pinky's you. sick. How do you know Pinky? Um, I have to give credit to Sebzilla for making a group chat. Um, uh, okay. My video came out on scroll and I guess he shared it with the chat. And then uh, he basically linked me to a whole bunch of dope people. But I would say by far that uh, Pinky is like the the main friend that I made out of that that situation that oh, I'm like nice. super grateful for. I guess I should tell <laughs> Sadzilla thank you. Yeah, thank you, Sadzilla. That's how I met uh, Pinky also out here in LA. They did a show like a couple months ago, and uh, yeah, they're both chill. I like when you meet people in real life and they're mm. nice. You know what I mean? Fuck yeah. So, sometimes it doesn't happen that way. Yo, we got boom. Um. I'm honestly not familiar with either of those names, but is there a reason this dude asked if you're going to work with uh, Adam the Shinobi or Domsta? Um, <laughs> people ask me to work with all kinds of people all the time, but it's like, yeah. I almost feel like it's not up to me. I cut, you kind of got to let them know and tell them to come to me because I'm not usually the one saying no. But uh, it, yeah. it, it really sucks to hit people up and then like hear like, all right, 500. Like, I don't like to put myself out there like that. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I, I don't have it like that just yet. So I try to chill with the reaching out. I'm scared. Yeah. Is there anybody you reached out to and they were like, nah, or like just gave you some exorbitant number that was just like, I wouldn't disclose much. that here. Yeah. You warned me. I'm not. <laughs> yeah, we're like, don't fuck it up. <laughs> yeah. uh, that's funny. Yeah. If, uh, anybody on YouTube, send in your comments and questions and stuff. Yo, bearded, you fuck with wrestling, right? Oh hell I yeah! I mean, stories and shit. Yeah, I don't keep up with the new stuff, but I definitely fucking when I was younger, as a '90s kid, I was like in elementary school when the Attitude Era was like starting, and yeah. fucking I still watch that now. They I had the WWE Network till it merged, like whatever with Peacock. Now, yeah, I still watch all that old shit. I, I think I'm like I started from. uh 
like 1995 uh me and my girlfriend started watching the old raws and now we're up to like 99 <laughs> and like hey. all the pay-per-views in between bro i fucking love all that shit yeah that's what's up man dude how'd you get into that uh my older cousins man fucking when i was younger they used to have like those stiff ass wrestling toys and shit that like you couldn't oh, move yeah, their yeah. limbs yet and they you just smash them into each other with the old ring and shit and then I started, I originally got into WCW mm. and I remember like as soon as Stone Cold like changed his name to Stone Cold in mm. WWF, like some of my cousins were like clowning me just saying like, you know, fuck WCW, like watch this shit. I was like <laughs> yeah. fucking like seven. <laughs> I was like, oh, it's like, no, I love fucking Sting and like, you know, yeah. um, all that shit. The NWO and fucking Too Sweet, all that shit. I was like, yeah. But then I watched WWF and like DX started and shit. I was like, okay, yeah. this is fucking, this is dope. <laughs> Bro, there's lots of good indie wrestling out in New York, dude. You ever go uh, check it out at all? Nah, dude. Like, I've been so out of the loop. I, like, oh, I mean, besides, God. too, I also stay home a lot as well. But <laughs> oh, man, both of you guys, damn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jupy, you ever uh, explore the world of professional wrestling? <laughs> okay, so controversial, but uh, as a kid, oh. I didn't have Barbies. I had wrestlers. I oh, had nice. like 50, yeah. 50 figures. And I, I, I mean, I didn't use them for their intended purposes. I was using them like Barbies. Yeah. But I had the biggest crush on John Cena. I, of course, grew out of that. But I mean, <laughs> from afar, I'm a, I'm a avid <laughs> WWE fan, I guess, you know. That's funny. Dude, John Cena is an American hero now, dude. Right? Honestly. That's so funny. Uh, we got Ian Icy says, Hey, Jupy is dope. <laughs> That's another friend I made through Sadzilla. I forgot to mention him. He's super oh, yeah? dope too. Yeah. Yeah, he's a cool dude. Run into him every now and then out here. Um, uh, what was I going to say? Dude, Jupy, um, do you ever want to play shows like outside of COVID or are you just inside like? Like regardless, I would love to do shows, <laughs> yeah. uh, but um, it's 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 gonna be like ripping off a band aid because I'm very yeah. shy. So <laughs> right. once I get used to it, it'll be great. But like in my you know like in my dreams, I'm like killing these fucking shows, and I'm yeah. you know tearing that shit up. I want to. I'm just like mm, gotta mm -hmm. manage my expectation. And like and like Bearded said, I want to wait till I know I can like mm -hmm. book a show before right. I go and be yeah, like, yeah. yo, what up to like two people in a cricket, uh -huh. like you know. <laughs> Work your way up a little. Right. Do people hit you up asking if you want to play with them or anything like that? Um, I I've been invited to a few, like maybe two or three shows, I guess, and and a few like mm. like house things, but um, just just in LA and like random parts of Texas, I've been invited. Okay. Have you been to LA? I haven't. Oh, you yet. said you've only been to Colorado. Yeah, and like the states on the way there. I drove there. I've never been on a plane, so that's why I haven't been oh. to Cali. Yet, oh shit! <laughs> I really want to go to Cali. I've got a lot of people that I'd like to meet. So yeah, what did you do uh, in Colorado? Uh, <laughs> personal uh, you, stuff. Well, you know, <laughs> there's this there's this uh, fun thing that's legal there that's not legal oh. everywhere, and that was oh. kind of. That was kind of the purpose of the trip, you know, a month long driving expedition okay. to, you know, taste nice. the local to the promised land. <laughs> yeah. Colorado. It was a that food must... trip. Yeah. <laughs> that must have been a while ago because I feel like uh, you could get food closer than Colorado now, right? Oh, That'd I'm not be. saying I haven't been getting food. I'm just saying <laughs> I'm allowed to there. So, yeah, yeah. Very dope. <laughs> Very dope. <laughs> uh, yo, Bearded, you turning down shows or what? I feel like um, people got to be asking, right? Oh, yeah. People ask me all the time. But like I said before, it's like, it's just like rough planning. And I straight up just be like, listen, like, I'm down if you have like a, a legit plan. But, mm -hmm. um, you know, I'm not going to like commit to nothing that you don't even know what the fuck is going on yet. But, right. uh, yeah, no, I'm down to like do shit if it's all planned out. I'm definitely, if anybody hits me with some like secure shit in New York, since mm -hmm. I'm already here, like, I'll be fucking more than willing to go to one of those than have to fly and all that shit. Cause I've flown before, but I don't really like it. And it's not even like the flying part. It's like, mm -hmm. I don't like airports and like the craziness. Yeah. I get like sensory, like overload with too much going on around me. Mm -hmm. So like, yeah, I, I've, 
haven't gotten any like secure offers lately, but I also haven't been like putting myself out there for it as much because yeah, I just want to like build my shit up. But yeah. those little shows are good, especially in the beginning. Like Jupy, if you want to practice, like and there's some going on around you and you're down, you should just try it and like a couple people just get a feel for it. Like I remember in my old group we used to take those shows just to like it's like, all right, we want to try some new shit. And we know, like, no one's going to be fucking watching us. So let's just fucking try it and at least see if we can get shit down. And then we would try it at, like, a bigger show. And then it would be cool. Yeah. So it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> you don't seem convinced. All right. She's like, fuck that. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's just, it's tough. It's tough to convince yourself. I have I yeah. have myself convinced of my reasoning so I could keep putting it off. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> What are some good venues out in New York, dude? It's like uh, mostly shit. underground, like shit that, like under the table kind of shit that you, you know. I was gonna say honestly. I mean, there's like some. I mean, one was they closed it and reopened it, but like uh, for like there were smaller. It was like the studio at Webster Hall, which was really cool. Especially mm -hmm. just say like I played Webster Hall because that was like a big venue over here. Um, but there's a lot of like DIY. Sh <clears throat> DIY shit's going on in like yeah. Brooklyn and in Manhattan and shit where people just you know rent out an empty space and fucking those are you probably like the best ones usually but mm -hmm. you know there's like the the Mercury Lounge is like a little place but that's more like bands I guess yeah, uh, yeah I mean there's so fucking many uh, the biggest shit I ever played was like on Long Island at this place called the Paramount which is like the biggest venue out here but Mm. That again, that's like I'm aiming for. I really want to get to like shit like that because that was mm. really fun. It's like more nerve wracking, but it's fucking fun to like, you know, uh, yeah. perform in front of a shit ton of people <laughs> like that right. are getting into your shit, especially. You're Jupy, you produce your own stuff, or you, you, I assume you record your own stuff if you never yeah. leave the house, right? I, I do the recording and the mixing. I don't quite know how to make beats that I think are presentable. Uh, yet, but luckily, you know, there's yeah. so many amazing producers around who are willing yeah. to help me out. So, yeah. Dude, how do you uh, how do you get linked up with producers? Do they like slide into your DMs and like they're like, "Yo, I got this beat you'd be crazy on"? Or are you like searching around? I used to use YouTube beats, but then it just got okay. to a point where I had made enough music that people would come to me. So I'm very thankful um, that often I'm just like refreshing my email, and it's like some some you know producers like hey try this and someone else is like try uh -huh. this and i'm like oh cool these are all different genres let me just you know <laughs> go wild nice. yeah anybody you like work with more frequently than uh, other people or any regular producers you like uh well i of course i walk, i work with uh okra a lot i recently started working with omar duro big fan of him mm -hmm. jake ohm apoc uh crisis of course of course i oh, use okay his yeah, yeah he's my manager but um I don't okay, know. Cool. And yeah, and there's Phony Wallace. He was like the first like producer to hit me up that's like known in the scene. So mm -hmm. a shout out to Phony Wallace as well. Shout out. Do what about you, Bearded? You said you make some of your you make your own beats, but yeah. you also use other beats sometimes. Yeah, it depends. Like that I have my beats definitely like are a certain style, like kind of my own. Mm -hmm. And um for the shit that I know I can do, I'll make beats for it, or I'll just like fuck around and make a bunch to like have in case I like, mm. you know, I do both to get in case I get bored of the other. But like, there are beats <laughs> yeah. that other people make really good that I'm fucking shit at, and I'm uh -huh. like, all right, you know, I'm gonna just check this shit out. But people bombard the shit out of my DMs with beat mm -hmm. links and whatever the hell and i i tell a lot of people like i'm not looking for them like right now especially yeah i'll listen to shit sometimes and like i always be like yo if i need it i'll let you know but like i don't really need them but you know i always uh -huh. want to make sure <laughs> yeah. it, i'm not missing out on something real good but i have like 40 beats that i need to write to right now <laughs> and oh yeah yeah i have like 10 of my own in there and then like another 10 i have to finish making and like it's fucking just so i'm trying to like level my plate a little it's got a lot on it like at the yeah. moment which is a good thing fucking knock on wood yeah, but yeah. you know still you produce for uh you produce for other people no um i have some beats on like a track train that i haven't updated in forever mm. and i have produced some beats for like some collabs like i did made the beat for the song me and jupelux did and um uh -huh. a bunch of a bunch of other shits but 
I'm not good at like the back and forth. Like I get, I get very like impatient. And like, if someone's like, Hey man, and like the fourth bar around like the second minute, uh, there's like a hi-hat sound. I don't really like, can you like try something else there? And I'm like, no, <laughs> like I don't want to. <laughs> so I just don't do that. Cause I fucking, I gotta worry about my own shit. I, I don't have the time to like fix all that shit for people. Mm-hmm. Dude, both of you guys stream pretty high on Spotify and shit. Dude, um, for uh, the uh, people watching who are also musicians or uh, aspiring artists, dude, how the fuck do you get on those playlists, bro? <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking luck, honestly. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't tell you. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, no. Nah. I mean, I pitch every... Once the pitches, I like was aware of them. Mm-hmm. I started pitching every song I, I can. Yeah. And like I've only gotten on one of the playlists. Me and Sinister, shout out Sinister. Our song, oh. um, Tarkov got on fucking tirade. But as far mm-hmm. as that goes, like the other editorial ones, I don't. I haven't gotten on uh, any other ones. I don't that I'm aware of at least. Yeah, dude, that's always a fucking mystery, dude. I just hear million different things from people. It's just like, yo, yeah. you got to tell them this. You got to tell them this. And it's like nothing works. And then sometimes dudes are like, yeah, I don't know. I just fucking wrote some shit, and then boom. Literally. Millions of streams, dude. I don't fucking get it. <laughs> yeah, because I didn't. I didn't write when we got on tirade. Like I didn't write anything different, really. Like we both pitched, uh-huh. I think. Yeah. But like, you know, I know we were talking about what to write, but it was along the lines of the same shit that I usually write. And mm-hmm. then after that, I was like, okay, like I remember exactly what I wrote, like or the format of it. Let me try that again. And I've right. been trying on every song since, and it's like, nope. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but whatever. Dude, when you guys collab with people, do you like consider like how many um, listeners they have or like how many streams they have? Or is it just like pure like art? Because there's got to be like, right? yeah, because there's got to be both. an element. Of... Yeah. Oh, shit. Am I frozen? I yeah. think so. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, keep talking. Yeah. Well, because uh, I'm going to fix this shit. Well, yeah, I'm it's back. both. I was going to say, yeah. oh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely both, though. Like, you know, I, I got to like something to get on it, first mm-hmm. of all. And, like, right. I also not even just the music itself. I got to, like, not think the artist is, like, a dick or something. Mm-hmm. But then, too, you know, I've done – I like doing uh, songs with smaller artists. And um, – if I can help get them more listeners, especially if I think they're dope as hell as, as people and as artists, like fucking mm-hmm. love being able to help with that. But yeah. it's definitely gotta be like a combination. It's not just like, Hey, this dude has like fucking, um, you know, a million fucking listeners every month. Let me just do a song with them. Cause like, right. I hope to like fucking grab some of that. And same mm-hmm. sense too. I've met some dope artists who, you know, I would want to, I'd hear a song I like, but then I'd listen to some other stuff that wasn't as like good or polished. And I'd see like, you know, it might be more of a hobby for them, which is cool. It's fine. But like, sure. you know, I wouldn't want to like pull them into possibly like, cause I want to promote the song and shit. I want to get shit out there. And, and if I, I'm always going to put effort into it, I don't want it to be like taken, like, like it's not serious or something in a way, you know? Right. So like it, it's always like a balance. I like to see people working hard and also not like sucking like as people mm-hmm. and shit. Yeah, Jupy, how about you? Are you turning down a lot of like collab requests? I have so many features and collabs out in uh-huh. the world that I did when I first got started. It just comes yeah. down to like discerning like what you really fuck with and what makes right. sense to do, and you fuck with enough, and it's just it really depends. Depends on the song. Depends on the person. Pretty much what he said. You usually end up uh, homies with the people you collab with, or is it like sometimes strictly like you just send the shit and you never hear from them again? People hit me up. I do the track in a day and I never hear from them again. Oh, Pretty no. sad. <laughs> Every once in a while I make a friend and I'm like, oh, cool. Yeah. I get to keep this one. But yeah, <laughs> they're in and out. Uh, most of that's funny. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, with the 30 minute turnaround time, like that's just in and out. Never hear from them again. Yeah. That's what's up. That's crazy. Dude, um like how how did you get both of you guys? I guess we'll start with Jupy. How did you get into like music? Cuz I at least for me, like I, I come from like band world and there's like a 
like a collaborative effort in like you know setting up your band and you're like with your homies usually and it's like a big group thing but i feel like if i was like solo like right off the rip if, if assuming that's kind of where you came from like that's kind of uh seems like a more daunting thing to like put yourself out there you know like what yeah. how'd you how'd you start off with that shit um well i've always kind of had music as like a tool it, it took a while for me to start making it in any serious way that i felt like i could share but it really just came down to like i had a lot of secret songs and i didn't know what i was doing and then yeah. quarantine happened and i was like i'm depressed i should do what i want to do anyway and i just started mm -hmm. sharing it and i was like i just reached a point where i was like i don't care what people are gonna say about it i'm just gonna do it uh -huh. And it's it's gone pretty good, I guess. You know, it's it's been fine the whole time. So just mm -hmm. it just it just you get to a point where you're like, who the fuck cares what people say? You just yeah. if you like to do it, fucking do it. Right. What about you, bearded? Hell yeah. You started off solo, or you said you had a group before? Bruh. I mean, um, I've been fucking all over the place. I yeah. I started playing drums when I was a little kid. To okay. be honest, like. I loved listening even when I was little to like Sabbath and Nirvana and all that shit. But I also loved, I'd say like what inspired me to start playing an instrument was this little boy band called Hanson that were like around my age <laughs> at the time. And I was like, I'm going to play some fucking instruments, bro. I've played drums uh -huh. as I got into, um, what's it called? Middle school. I started playing some guitar. I was in like a band. We did covers of like, norma Jean and fucking anti-flag and shit like that okay. and like senses fail and shit in high school i played guitar i tried like i was in like a deathcore band a fucking like rock like groove band i was tried like a little reggae side project with a couple friends <laughs> nice. uh and then i tried rapping like i started rapping with some people when i was like 19 or 20 mm -hmm. and uh i like knew some people back then and shit that were like you know, whatever, fucking into it. And, uh, like, I'm not, I'm really not trying to like name drop anybody, but I used to do some shit back then. Then I stopped because, like, some shit happened in life. I mm -hmm. just like did music for fun. And right around like my mid 20s, I was like, fuck this, yo, I'm going back into this. And then I just started saying, though, like, I fused in with all the music I like mm -hmm. along with rap, like, too. I was like, it was the easiest also for me to do by myself because I, being in bands never really worked. I always felt like, you know, I hated when people like, I felt like nobody was doing like hard enough work. <laughs> right. And it was like, why am I trying to convince motherfuckers to like write songs? This is so fucking annoying. Or like to practice or like to want to organize a show. Like nobody wants to like take this serious. So with rap, it's like, I'm going to just do everything by my fucking self. Mm -hmm. And then since, you know, now the past like five years or so, I've just been, making my sound doing my shit and you know whatever having fucking fun with it and just living the dream i guess <laughs> <laughs> yeah question for both of you I'll start with jupy um was there a time where you decided like or realized like yo this is what i'm like doing like going all in on because it seems like it's like your main thing right i don't know i guess what you do outside of music but it's like a i think that's what most people are gonna are knowing you for you know yeah um honestly the minute i started in quarantine i was like this is what my life's gonna be i'm deciding to be oh. delusionally self-confident and i just decided that this is who the fuck i am because i want to be so fucking do it and here i am nice. and now i'm full-time and you know Damn. hell yeah only i yeah. just keep keep doing it you know just... yeah yeah i didn't know you started that recently in quarantine yeah. so like i mean it's been like two, two years? years now but yeah Damn. Dude, that's a, dude, that's very impressive. Hell it yeah. seems like everybody, yeah, like I was saying, like everybody wanted me to have you on, and like everybody knows about you from all these collabs and shit, and it's just that's like so two crazy. years, damn. Yeah. That's fucking wild, dude. That's so dope. What about you, bearded? When did you decide like that was the shit, or just like happened? Because I know a lot of people like, at least when I was younger, you know, there's a lot more people that were like into it, and then you kind of fall off, or like you know, just kind of like a hobby, which is totally chill. Yeah. You know, but like you know, you're full-time dude, like yeah. you're, you're committed, you know, was there a point where you were just like, this is it? I mean, yeah, I, I had the goal when I started too, in like 2015, I first started, but like I, that first year was like nothing really going on. I just 
did some shows, but, um, and I had like a, a part-time, well, it turned into like full-time job and shit, but I fucking hated it. Mm-hmm. And then 2016, they were laying people off and I was like, you know what? Like, this is like, I'm just going to say, fuck it. Like I took one for the team. Cause like me and my sister worked at the same place and she had just gotten the job and she like needed it a little more than me. Cause like I, I was like saving up my money and shit. I, I never really went out anyway. So I always had some and I was like, you know what? I was like, fuck it. Y'all could fire me and like, let her keep working till like whatever. And I was like, I'm just going to do music now. Then I like just took it as a sign and started catching on. But, you know, still, I went all in with it since then, since like the end of 2016, early 2017. Mm -hmm. But there were just a bunch of little things that reminded me because there were times where I was like, I think I got to like go back to like working full time. Like I still worked like doing some other shit here and there to get extra money and shit. But I guess within the last like couple years, I was able to like start making more. And I was like, you know what? I was like, I'm fucking doing this shit. Like, geez, like I really don't have to think of nothing else. I could put everything really, even like my thoughts when I'm like depressed, like normally about other shit now, like thankfully, like nothing pops up where it's like, I'm going to fucking quit music. Like, it's just like, nah, it's like, at least I got music going. (laughs) Like I'll fucking (laughs) do some big shit with that. So it's cool. (laughs) <laughs> well, what was the last uh, last job you had? Um, I, well, again, I like staying home, and uh. I'm good at writing. As like you know, you I guess you would expect from somebody who's like kind of established as a rapper or something or whatever the fuck. <laughs> right, right. So like, I always took up writing jobs. I wrote for a bunch of uh, cause I like um, like European soccer. I like Italian soccer. Like my family comes from okay. over there and. You know, just something that I got into in my early 20s. And so I wrote like a lot of sports blogs and like uh, match reports and shit with that. Mm -hmm. And then I wrote articles for like some, honestly, like, I don't know. It was like some magazine for like business professionals or some shit. But I was Mm -hmm. able to do it all from home. Like I took a lot of, uh, there's like a website online writingjobs.net or some shit. I just took like a bunch of freelance shit and like, they would just pay me through PayPal and fucking, um, yeah, man, mostly that. So, but uh, it's still annoying. Even being home, just like writing about a bunch of shit. I'd like, you know, like when I would watch soccer and shit, it became less enjoyable eventually. Cause I knew I had to like think of words to write about it instead of just right. watch it. So, but you know, uh, you're droopy. Is there any, what do you do outside of music? Like uh, you, I don't, like I don't do wise. shit. I, the <laughs> music is literally, I wake up and I'm like, all right, just time to, time to see if I have any new beats time yeah. to, you know, that's literally, I like maybe 20% of the time I'm doing something else, but I'm, I am obsessive. I'm obsessively uh, dedicated to music. Like, that's yeah, yeah. that's sick. That's the way to go. Is there anything you want to do outside of music? Like even in the future or something? I was talking to him. Sinister was telling me this. I was kind of surprised. He said like after music, he wants to act. Yeah, it has to be I, like an, like a that. Rambo type of, which I guess makes sense. But like, yeah, uh, yeah. Like, what do you? Is there anything else you you like wanted to do? I mean, I think music is like the most like like and that's the soul urge there. That's the one I want to mm-hmm. do. But I mean, just right. like him, I think acting sounds so dope. I would love to act. Yeah. I've always like as a little kid, I was like picturing myself as other characters, and I would sit there and write stories. Like that shit is dope uh-huh. to me. I love all forms of expression. So like anything like that would be dope. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, any type of, type of entertainment, I think, at the end of the day. At least for yeah. me, it's like music or whatever. Act, I've never acted or anything like that, but that would be sick. Anything where you just like create your own character is fucking tight. Hell yeah. That probably goes back to like um, like the wrestling shit we were talking about oh, earlier, yeah. bro. Just like create your own gimmick and all this shit, man. So Seriously, like, though. Yeah. Do you ever want to be a wrestler, Bearded? Nah, uh, I mean, with all that shit, fucking, like, I would say, too, like, acting and shit seems cool to an extent. That would be fun, but Mm -hmm. wrestling, because I used to, like, skateboard, too. Uh, I, you know, was thinking about doing some uh, MMA shit for a little. Uh, Oh, shit, okay. Yeah, I used to do, like, some boxing and shit just for a little bit, but um, I even almost joined the military when I was, like, 18. But the whole thing with all that, like, I really don't like hospitals and doctors and all that. And I was like, I ain't trying to get fucked up doing none of this. Like skateboarding. I was always cautious as hell. Like 
I was like, I'm going to do some cool shit, but I don't, I'm not going to like do no crazy shit. Wrestling, too. I was like, ah, this looks so cool, but like, I don't want to break my shit. So uh-huh. I'm going to just watch it. <laughs> yeah. Dude, when you were doing that uh, boxing or uh, MMA, did you ever do like a competition or anything or was it just like sparring? No, yeah. I just did sparring. I didn't go that far uh, mm-hmm. because honestly, like, I don't smoke weed or nothing anymore, but back then mm-hmm. I was like, like i want to just fucking go home and smoke i don't feel like doing this shit like running around and fucking like all the drills mm. we had to do and shit i was like it's like this is cool and like i was in like some of the best shape ever but like mm-hmm. i was also like smoking cigarettes back then too i was like i'm gonna go smoke like <laughs> <laughs> whatever yeah Dude, yeah back in the day i used to do judo and that was like the best shape i was ever in because like it's crazy. hard it's hard to like motivate yourself and having some yeah. dude like kicking your ass the whole time just like yeah. keeps you going dude dude uh ian i see in the comments earlier said uh sounds like you guys should move to la you ever thought about uh switching it up i know you moved from houston to dallas jupy but i i would love to i'm just scared that it's a little bit different than texas and also mm. it's expensive maybe when i have you know a bit fatter <laughs> yeah. pockets so i'll consider it with some real thought uh-huh. but I would love to. I mean, it's not like I have a whole lot of friends out here in Texas anyway. There's no, no reason not to. Yeah. No friends in Texas? <laughs> not really. Oh, no. Uh, why'd you move out to uh, Dallas from Houston? Um. Well, I mean, like, for school, but I'm not going to school. So I'm just here. <laughs> oh, okay. I mean, the, the music scene is supposed to be better. But I haven't gone to any shows, so I don't know. I don't know. Good question. The apartment apartment seems better. (laughs) Is it? I mean, I don't know. I don't know. (laughs) I've never been there in my life. (laughs) What what were you uh were were you planning to go to school and you just didn't go, or you just um just kind of like a vague move out and I'm gonna do something? Well, you see, like I originally was going, like my whole career plan and trajectory for my life was going to be visual mm. art. But when okay. high school came around, I had like a big identity crisis and basically dropped out because I was like, wow, I hate visual art. I never want to pick up a pencil again because my whole life to that point was just about drawing. So it's mm. like I went to school with, you know, art in mind. College, I started mm. college as like visual art. And I was like, I hate this. And then I started doing music. So I was like, music focus. But then everything mm. they were teaching in the class was like bullshit. So now I don't go anymore. Yeah. Stay in school though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, it is weird how that happens. I went I went to college for like two quarters and I like had homies that were like um trying to get like music degrees and all this stuff. And it just seemed seemed like unnecessary for wanting to like be a I guess kind of like what you guys do or just like a independent artist, you know what I mean? Because like yeah. I've never asked somebody like, "Hey, man, you want to collab?" Like, "Yo, do you let me see your credentials?" You know what yeah. I mean? Where's your degree? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Where's your degree? Hands on learning. Yeah. 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 Pretty. Yeah. I mean, it's like a, a probably a business degree would be. Uh, I was more just thinking that. Know? Yeah. I was like, if I had to go to school, I'd do like some accounting or like business and shit, like like marketing or something to yeah. like know all that shit. Yeah. Yeah. Beer, did you go to college or no? Uh, fuck no i uh i was gonna but um i had all these plans like music is like my soul shit too i always wanted to do music but like realistically Mm -hmm. i was like i kind of wanted to be like something like involving like archaeology or some shit because i I love history and all that shit um but uh shit happened again like personal family shit happened when i was in high school uh i left and I ended up getting my GED. Mm-hmm. Uh, and like the thing was, like, I was actually like pretty, I didn't like school just because I, I just didn't like going, but I didn't hate it either. And I was like kind of good in school, like grade wise and shit. And same with my GED, like, I entered like the program for that year late because I was supposed to register like in September and I waited mm-hmm. till like, may (laughs) like the end of the school year Mm -hmm. and i was supposed to take it into the next year but um since i like had really good grades in regular school i had to like take some extra tests and do some homework my teacher said listen i'll let you take the test with everybody in june but you have to promise me like you're gonna go to college and i was like yeah whatever (laughs) she's like really like you know she didn't want me to like waste my my whatever but Mm -hmm. i was like you know 
in my head, I was just like saying, like, I know, like, I really did want to do music or some shit. So I was like, I don't need this shit for that. But, you know, I was just like telling her what she wanted to hear. I was like, I'll do it. Yeah, no, definitely. Like, mm -hmm. whatever. And she let me, she put me in for the test. I did pretty good on it. And then I just never talked to her again. <laughs> but shout out to my teacher for helping me out, get my GED. <laughs> so the uh, outside society, like, was proud of me for a second. <laughs> oh, nice. Is that all, that's all uh, out in New York? Yeah. Born, um, born and raised out there? Yep. And, uh, mm. yeah, Long Island specifically. But um, my family's, like, from the city and came out to the island you know, to like start a family, but I always yeah. grew up around the city because like I have tons of family out there and shit. Uh -huh. And uh yeah, I, I'm really just I'm probably always gonna stay out here. I would probably like go out to LA if I had extra money, have like an apartment out there for like business reasons and travel shit. Mm -hmm. But I fucking love New York. I like have no desire to leave, even though it is expensive as fuck, but whatever. Yeah. Do are there a lot of uh other artists out there that you like fuck with or that we'd know? Um, honestly, like I see my boy Casey Heenan, um, I, there's underground dudes that I fuck with that some people might know and shit, but mm -hmm. as far as like bigger artists, like, or people coming up like big time, I, I find out more and more. I can't think off the top of my head, but it's like, oh shit, this dude like lives near me. <laughs> like <laughs> I had no idea, but there are, um, some people I, I can't think of like specifics but i there are definitely people out here i know there's like more of a scene building too uh let's see hell yeah there's your boy casey heenan in yeah, the comments up, yo? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, i see his name all the time commenting on shit i didn't know he make music we'll check it yeah out. hell yeah it's dope oh <laughs> uh, let's see we're gonna go into any questions uh send them in on the comments or questions questions or comments uh, we'll probably be wrapping this up pretty soon. So this is your last chance to talk to Jupalux and Bearded Legend for now. And he's back. <laughs> <laughs> you the goat, he says. Thanks, bro. <laughs> Dude, Jupy, tell me about TikTok. Because I see you I see you posting oh, hella TikTok. Oh <laughs> Why? <laughs> well, oh. Do you keep I keep seeing you posting hella TikToks and uh I mean that's kind of the uh the 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 best organic reach for shit. Like is that like turning into um streams and fans for you a lot or is it like strictly like building TikTok for you? Um I haven't seen it transfer over just yet. I just know that all these YouTubers that I watch are like if you're not on TikTok you're an idiot. And I'm like, well, I got this new fancy iPhone. I might as well put some yeah. use <laughs> and you know, it fits in with the obsessive uh hustler narrative so might as well mm. crack out some tiktoks and make a fool of myself on the internet um but yeah you know here i am tiktok got, aficionado i guess there you go you got any you got any viral hits on there oh uh yeah probably almost canceled honestly because an inside joke decided to pop the fuck off and has like two hundred fifty thousand views now oh, no. of course the one that isn't supposed to be seen is like let's show this to everybody and now everybody's like doja cat commented on your instagram i'm like no oh my god <laughs> that's the joke so sick do i think um yeah my uh one of my bandmates was telling me i think tech i think uh technically what is it? Two hundred thousand or two hundred fifty thousand is considered viral. So boom, you, you wow. did it. Uh, last chance for questions and comments before we wrap it up. Yo, Beardard, are you on TikTok? Are you killing it on there, man? Fuck no, bro. I can't do that shit. No? I, I I I can't. Yeah, no. I'm just not. I was on I was on the Vine shit back, making me sound old as shit, but. I don't have it, uh, cause one thing with TikTok, I don't even mean cause whatever. I mean, I do mm -hmm. think it's like I always make fun of my girlfriend when she's looking on on it and like doing shit. I know mm -hmm. it's helpful, but like if I p start putting energy into that, I'm gonna like take my mind off other shit. Cause I'm like, okay, but let mm -hmm. me do this for the video, and like it's gonna take up a lot of my fucking time, and like I already mm -hmm. have like some type of problems like keeping my fucking attention. <laughs> like yeah. yeah dude it's hard having to manage all the different social media shit man dude they got people getting paid to do that for you yeah that's what i'm probably gonna do like tiktok yeah. people 
I'm probably just gonna be like, listen, or if people want to make like compilations of shit I might post on Instagram or some shit, because people always be mm -hmm. sending me like their screen recordings of my shit. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? Uh -huh. Like, yeah. but uh, yeah, yeah. I know some uh, some dudes that like they just like film stuff on their phone and then they like upload it to some drive, like a Google Drive or Dropbox, and then they got somebody that like takes it and like cuts it into like whatever TikTok type shit. Yeah. To save them time. Ian's asking what kind of, uh, what bands were you in? Anything we'd know? Fuck no. No. I was in bands <laughs> with like people I, I like chilled with and yeah. we were just like fucked up a lot of the time and yeah. uh a couple of times we had names, but uh mm -hmm. Not that I can remember. One was like something to do with like Dawn of the Dead. Like the Dawn of, it was something from the Dawn of the Dead movie. Mm -hmm. Uh but yeah, nah, y'all wouldn't know. We didn't record shit. Like I said, nobody wanted to fucking like go all in with that <laughs> shit. And like people didn't want to buy equipment. <laughs> I was yeah. let alone fuck studio time. Like yeah. were you mostly drums? Mostly drums or were you doing vocals? No, back when I was too? uh no, yeah, I didn't do vocals. I did drums in the beginning, but mostly when I was experimenting in bands, I played guitar. Oh, shit. Yeah. Okay. I didn't know you played guitar. Oh, yeah, bro. Shit. I got some Damn. songs where I, I just straight up like rock shit, and I just like made oh. that shit myself. I'm playing live guitars on it and everything. Yo. Do you play, uh, play them live at a Bearded Legends show? Uh, I haven't yet. I haven't pulled those yeah. out. People don't want to hear those at the shows yet. Hope, I mean, one day I'd be down to do all that. Like, again, when I have like the money and like I'm that established, like to have mm -hmm. a band with me, like I fucking love that shit. But uh, mm -hmm. nah, people want to hear like you know, like my song "Rocket" and shit like that. Uh -huh. So just yeah, keep like, it simple. Yeah, yeah I feel <laughs> like that's kind of the um, somewhat. I I feel like that's the trajectory with like uh, like MGK. And uh, dude, I feel like every rapper is always talking about how they're a rock star and shit. And I see dudes with like guitars and there's like no guitar in the track, you know? Yeah. Do I feel like nah, that's the yeah. move, dude. Yeah. Fucking pull it out and actually shred, bro. Uh, well, that's the thing. To <laughs> it's funny because it's like the dudes that are more prone and say like, I'm a fucking rock star, bro. Like mm -hmm. probably ain't really doing like they probably ain't doing all shit. I, yeah. I don't want to talk shit, but maybe fuck them. I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, um. Cause I won't even say that about my shit, but like I'd be playing like, you know, some shit. I, I'm mm -hmm. not like the best, but I definitely love fucking making all types of music. Mm -hmm. Jupy, is there anything you want to say to the people before we uh, close this shit out? Plug Man. something or say something, whatever. My toxic trait was like I felt the urge to be like, "Give money, fuck bitches." I don't have anything to say. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't have anything to add. You got any music dropping soon? Uh, every week. I drop some every week? music. Yeah, yeah, literally every week. Sometimes yeah. more. I just, I make too much shit. So. Yeah. Is it mostly on, because uh, I know you got a SoundCloud also, but is it a Spotify where everything's dropping? Or you got like, some people have more shit on SoundCloud, you know? I do definitely have more shit on SoundCloud just because like, mm. I just drop stuff so often but it's weekly on spotify so most of the oh, okay. stuff eventually gets there anyway so okay yo go uh follow jupy on spotify bearded you got something to say yeah no nah, i mean you know uh shout out everybody that fucks with my shit or all of our shit you know whatever all the cool people out there uh i got some new shit coming too not every week right now but it's just because i haven't scheduled it i have a lot of shit but i mm -hmm specifically do have two new songs one coming on 2 2 22 and the other one coming on 2 22 22 like probably everybody in the world but uh yeah man just shout out to everybody that fucks with the shit and is a good person out there and you know believe in yourself and you can do great things like us yeah <laughs> it's so possible oh yeah. <laughs> yeah dude uh yo thanks guys for coming on the show Maybe Thanks I'll run into you in real life. I'll probably have to go to your town if you're just chilling at your house all the time, you know, but <laughs> we'll make it happen. Hell yeah. Uh, yeah, thanks. Uh, thanks for everybody that was watching. Uh, feel free to share this. This whole thing's going to be uploaded immediately after this. So, uh, yeah, we will see you next time. Peace. <laughs>